Hello, hello, Eric. I would like to ask about you about your shape so far. How do you feel uh, on the court uh, with your uh, about your shape, and also how is the connection with Victor and John Wall so far? Yeah, it's still good, but we're we're still growing. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can could, could still do better uh, as we're all getting familiar with one another, and uh, you know that we just got to continue picking our spots to where we could you know play make for someone and penetrate. And you could you could just tell during the game last night that uh, you know we still have our ups and downs, and uh, we got to get to the point where it's uh, you know where we can just make it even more smooth sailing to where. Uh, you know, where we don't have uh, any lapses and where we can just continue uh, scoring and making and making easier plays for everyone else. Michael Shapiro. Hey, Eric. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of personnel changes, both, you know, via trades and injuries and various things. Uh, how helpful has it been to have John Lucas as kind of a steadying presence for you guys this season? Well, John Lucas has always been good for this organization since uh, for sure I've been here and probably for sure he's been here. He did. He brings a different energy uh, for this organization, you know, on and off the court. And, uh, you know, uh, he's a good stabilizer for what we for what we're doing here. He, you know, he gets along and communicates with everybody. And, uh, you know, he, he's uh, he, of course, he does well for what he for what he does for this team. And uh, and. Uh, so he, he definitely plays an important part for uh, not just me, uh, you know, just about everyone for our team. And is there any way he's helped your personal growth as a player in recent years that you can point to? Yeah, for sure. For me, he's been my stabilizer, you know, uh, you know, he's a go-to person for me as far as, you know, just about any and everything, uh, you know, everything is, you know, in this league and everything is not really smooth sailing. So, always go to him to, uh, for a lot of different advice, you know, of what's going on and uh, what I need to do and, you know, so forth. Adam Sullen. Hey, Eric. Uh, DeMarcus has had probably his three best games of the season in these last three games where, where he's been a starter. Uh, he's kind of struggled to get into a rhythm coming off the bench. As someone who has dealt with that transition, what, what advice would you give him to uh, make it a little easier to to come off the bench and, and find ways to be a little bit more effective? Well, it's tough because when you're in the – when you start, you're already kind of in rhythm in, of the game. You know, uh, when you come off the bench, you, you got to create a lot of opportunities for yourself and uh, because you got to come off and create a spark and uh, – and, um, you know, there's guys in this league that, you know, he's a good player, but uh, there's just some guys in his league where they create a rhythm on their own and uh, or they just create the rhythm or someone creates the rhythm for him throughout the And with him, what's, what's been good with him is um, his body's for sure getting better. And uh, you can just, you know, every all, all across the board, he's been doing well for our team and, you uh, and it's, it's, it's tough to make those kind of adjustments. It's, it's the hardest thing is to be able to start, come off the bench. I mean, that's the hardest part of the game that people don't re will never, ever understand or talk about. So, uh, um, you know, it's always going to be adjustment. And we, we just got to continue to find ways conti to continue him doing well. How did you figure it out? Well, my game, you know, how I play is uh, – can vibe, can vibe with anybody in this league, anybody, any player. Um, whether you have two ball dominant guys, I can always find a way. And it's never easy for me. You know, it's not a – when you're, you know, third option mostly on teams, um, you know, the thing is I just want to be um, – continue to be really reliable because I, I can have big games any moment and I try to be as consistent as possible. And – uh, it's just not that easy because the ball, the ball scores when you have the ball most of the times and things are ran for you or whatnot, then things, uh, you know, things get, get, you can get going eat much easier. Ali Kampajani. Eric, um, you're shooting a career high from inside the three point line this season. Um, and compared to your last few seasons here in Houston, where the highest percentage was around 52%, I believe. What, what do you attribute that to? Is that more so to do with the offense, the spacing? Is that your health? What are the combination of factors that have helped you uh, do that this season so far? Getting the ball in multiple ways. Uh, I'm coming off pick and roll more. Uh, I'm able to get it in transition more. Uh, before, it was mostly catch and shoot or, 
or, um, you know, yeah, it's just mainly catch a shoot or create some on your own. But when you're picking and rolling and uh, being able to get in a transition or a ISO, it's hard to start any stop any good player from uh, doing whatever they whatever they want on the floor. Do you prefer to come off that pick and roll more, or do you prefer to come off those pin downs and wide actions? I w- I rather do all a little bit of everything, and uh, and that's what we need to do as a team. You know, uh, I've seen other teams do it. I've seen Golden State do it for years and years and uh, you know because uh, you become un- an unpredictable team when you when you have guys well, uh, various guys do uh, all those things thank you Rick. and last question Adam Spolin just to kind of follow up on, on what I asked you a second ago do you think it's tougher for a center to who's been used to starting for his whole career to come off the bench just because it, it can be a little tougher for the ball to find him Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, when you come off the bench, it's all about creating your own energy. And it's not about, you know, of course, he's in a, you know, it's, it's different for him in his career because, his you know, his role here uh, from the start was to come off the bench and he's done well as a starter. And uh, so, like I said, we still have to figure out ways to, to really continue to keep him going, keep him motivated because it's, it's definitely not easy. Uh, the flow of the game is different. You got you to create your own energy. You have to create, uh, you know, a, a spark for the team when you come off the bench. I'm sorry, Eric. We have one more from our beat writer, Jonathan Peggy. Um, just going back to the question I started with on defense. When you're in with that second group with David Nababa, Sterling Brown, either PJ or Jay Sean, it does the ability for at least one through four to switch. Is that helping sort of what we're seeing defensively or does it still, even with that group, go back to what you were talking about, better familiarity with the schemes? Yeah, for sure. That, that's a great group for switching. Everybody is uh, like size and uh, very aggressive. And, uh, you know, we're going to be a hard group to stop uh, along the way because uh, vers- versatile offensively and defensively. And uh, as long as we just, continue to grow together and uh, continue to be physical and aggressive, well, we'll always be, uh, that group will always be, uh, will always do well. Thank you. Thank you, Eric.